Welcome back to the channel. In this episode, we are going to see all restaurants inside Caesar's Palace. I made an intro while out there, but it was inaudible, so I have to redo it. A Mustang was going down the strip at about 100 miles an hour right while I was introducing you to Caesar's Palace. That's one of the fun things about Vegas is you never know what it's going to be like out on the strip. So I want to also take this time to say thank you to all the people who are watching my channel, all my subscribers. I'm up to 349 right now. I cannot believe we've gotten this far. Never thought I would hit 100, let alone 349. So that's crazy to me. I also want to say thank you to Vegas Introvert. Go find that channel, Danny. He's amazing, has awesome content, growing fast because he loves Vegas and he loves to give his opinions on Vegas. And that's what I like about it most is it's just pure honesty. And I love all the channels like his. So go check out Vegas Introvert. All right, let's step inside Caesar's Palace. And here we are inside Caesar's Palace, right next to reception. Look how many people are in line on a Thursday. But right across from reception, you will find our first restaurant, Cafe Americano, open 24 hours. Let's check out their menu. All kinds of options. I've had a hamburger here before, it's pretty good. They have a nice bar, so you can get your drink on. And then that opens into a restaurant. So come check it out next time you're here. Here is Beijing Noodle number nine. It's a very electric looking restaurant. Love the fish tanks. entrance is actually down the center of these fish tanks and they're open. Come check them out. Here's a place called Pronto Wine Bar. They have a little variety of everything. So breakfast, lunch, snacks. Order for Jim. Busy this morning. Come check them out next time you're at Caesars. Here at Caesar's Palace is home of the Buccanel Buffet. It's regarded as the highest rated buffet in all of Las Vegas. They got their food out. If you want a nice buffet with unlimited options, great seafood, many other options, come check it out. Now coming soon is gonna be a new New York steakhouse. I don't have the signage up yet and I forget the name of it, but it's supposed to be a really good steakhouse coming. Come check it out. If you're at Caesars and want some fine Chinese cuisine, come to Mr. Chow. Dining lounge with views. You walk in here, and they take you upstairs in an elevator to the restaurant. Dress for success. It's a very nice place. Some quick coffee at Caesars. Come try Broshi by Guy Savoy. Coffees, French pastries, and sandwiches. All right, next to the sports book is a great place to eat called Searsucker. New American Classic. They're closed right now. Get you some American flair here. Even closer to the sports book is the Malfi by Bobby Flay. Let's come up here and get the menu. Scan that for your menu. That was actually the back side of the Malfi. Here we are at the front. It's a huge restaurant. Come check it out. Now, if steak is up your alley, come to the Old Homestead Steakhouse, the Caesars. I've not had steak from here, but it's always been on my short list. Beautiful restaurant. Come check it out.
This interesting looking restaurant is the Nobu restaurant. Here's their menu. It's right next to the entrance of the Nobu Hotel. Here we find the Gordon Ramsay Pub and Grill. Caesars has a lot of Gordon Ramsay restaurants and this is one of them. Let's go look at the menu. Scan that for the menu. This place is actually open. Next to Gordon Ramsay's is their Forum Food Hall. This is kind of unique about Caesars versus Bellagio is they have a good food hall, food court. You have the Fario Pizza. You got Bobby's Burgers. The Halal Guys. Woken Ramen. Smoke and Sizzle Barbecue. Taco. And you have the morning got a coffee shop, Starbucks. Here's Starbucks number two at Caesars Palace. The other one is in the food court. This is right outside of the Augustus Tower. So now you know. We got two Starbucks at Caesars Palace. Right before leaving the property and going into the forum shops, you have Vanderpump Vegas Cocktail Garden where you can wine and dine. There's always a big line here at night. So if you want to make reservations, come check this place out. All right, we're on the mezzanine level now to see Guy Savoy, Restaurant of the Year, Restaurant Awards Hall of Fame, 2009 Michelin Guide, Five Diamond Award, Forbes Travel Guide, Five Star. This is fine dining. They're not open right now. Let's see what they got to offer. Just through those doors would be the restaurant, Guy Savoy. Well, finding all those restaurants is a lot harder than I thought. As you all heard, a lot of these casinos are hard to navigate and Caesar's Palace is probably the hardest. Uh, restaurant guy Savoy was actually up on the second floor. Uh, you have to take the Augustus Tower elevators to the second floor, get off on the mezzanine level there. Uh, you will walk by some wedding chapels and then you will see restaurant guy Savoy. I also left out Hell's Kitchen on purpose while I was out there. It's not actually in the casino, but Hell's Kitchen is a very popular restaurant that is associated with Caesars. So I will give you some pictures of Hell's Kitchen to end the video. Thank you for watching. I hope you learned a lot about Caesar's Palace. I hope to see you soon in Las Vegas. Mm -hmm.